<laughs> Kenji, come here. Today is very exciting because it's the last day of classes for the quarter. <laughs> Woo! -hoo. It is final season now though. In between now and Monday, I have so much work, it's making my head spin. But we're not gonna think about that right now. For now, we're just gonna focus on getting through this last class. Luckily, my last class for the quarter is my favorite class. It's an independent study that I've been doing. Um, with one of my advisors and it has been lovely and so we're gonna prep for that a little bit so i didn't really get a chance to to read for the class i'm gonna read now that's how it be sometimes in grad school you get so much reading and stuff assigned it's just not possible to move through all of it you just do the best that you can you read as much as you can a good rule of thumb for newbies or really really anyone who is a student who has to read things for class can benefit from this read the introduction and read the conclusion. If you read those two things for any text put in front of you, you will have a really good sense of what's going on and you'll be able to say something in class. So that is the minimum expectation for everything for grad students. And then if you read stuff in the middle, that's just bonus. Y'all know me, I'm a journaling queen, okay? I've got to get all my feelings out on the page. One really important part of staying balanced and whole is having systems in place to, to care for yourself. And that shouldn't look like oh, I'm in crisis, so now I'm gonna take care of myself. No, like there should be things that you're doing regularly to show up in a meaningful way for you. It's time for us to do our daily ritual of coffee, yeah! Did I wash the dishes yesterday? I did wash the dishes yesterday, but I did not put any ice in my ice tray. What is it with me? And forgetting to put ice in my ice trays? Like, I wake up every morning to make iced coffee with no ice. That's half of the equation. What's going on? I'm gonna still have myself some coffee though. <laughs> I don't have any more of my nice creamers, so I'm literally just gonna do like coffee and oat milk, <laughs> which is not like the most exciting coffee for the morning, but I need to go grocery shopping. Maybe we'll do that today if we have time. For breakfast, I'm gonna have some leftover spaghetti from last night. Super, super glamorous. It's not that I dislike breakfast food, but I'm not like a big breakfast food person, if that makes sense. I'm not gonna go out of my way to find and consume breakfast food, you know? I recently bought this book. It's called Black Fatigue, How Racism Erodes the Mind, Body, and Spirit by Mary Frances Winters. And I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but I really hope over the break that I can. For spring break, I'm gonna be hanging out with some friends. I'll actually have some time to like, sit down and read when we're at the beach or things like that. I'm so ready for this quarter to be over. This quarter was rough, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is probably like one of the top two roughest quarters that I've had since I've been in grad school. I think the winter is just hard, you know, in general. Folks really be struggling with seasonal depression. I definitely had my own bout of that this winter and it can be tough to like focus and stay on the grind and stay productive when it's cold and dreary outside and you're not feeling like your, your best self. That's so real. And I feel like we don't talk about that enough. Um, we're not transparent about that enough because there is this pressure to just grind it out and perform excellence in the classroom and even sometimes brag about how like poorly you're taking care of yourself. At least that was the case for me in undergrad. Like we would literally, it's so problematic to think back on, but we would literally go back and forth about how little sleep we had gotten the night before to prepare for class that day. Like, oh, I only got like five hours of sleep last night. Oh my gosh, that's so rough. But I only got like three hours of sleep last night. And that was just a normal part of the culture of my undergraduate institution, not sleeping and not taking good care of yourself to get the work done, as opposed to questioning why so much work was being assigned that it couldn't be accomplished within a reasonable time frame without having to neglect oneself to move through it, you know? I think sometimes it's just hard to negotiate those things. Like, how do I decide, hey, I'm not gonna finish this assignment because I need to sleep for eight hours tonight, or I'm not gonna finish this reading because I need to do some deep breathing instead, or I need to go on a walk instead, you know? And all those things are so valid and we need to hold space for all of that. Grind culture kills, like it will literally make you sick if you let it. And that's why, yeah, I have my class today. I'm gonna do a little bit of preparation. I'm gonna read for like an hour or two, and then I'm gonna show up and we're gonna chat. And whatever I have for that day is what I have for that day. 
and that's okay. And I think I've had to reprogram myself to really be all right with that. Yeah, I'm not gonna read every page <laughs> of every reading because in order to do that, I wouldn't have a life. I wouldn't be able to take good care of myself. It's just not reasonable. At a certain point, you have to realize that no one is gonna show up for you the way that you're gonna show up for you. No one is gonna take care of you the way that you're gonna take care of you because it's your body and it's your life. Other folks, a lot of the times, they're just gonna wanna extract stuff. They're gonna wanna extract labor. They're gonna wanna extract ideas, time, and it's up to you to create boundaries around your energy to protect yourself and to to take care of yourself okay i don't know why this got so serious <laughs> good morning <laughs> hey kenji you gonna hang out with me while i chant oh hi baby you're so cute sir sir <laughs> are you all up in the camera like that the most wonderful last class of the quarter that was so invigorating and interesting i think i mentioned this in a video i made like a year ago i'm um, giving tips for for college but doing independent studies is one of the best experiences like having a completely catered educational experience to you and your interests with someone that you want to be in conversation with is so powerful and i wish that more people had the opportunity to learn in this way because a mentor mentee relationship is so special and, and precious and important and I think transformative in ways that a shared classroom setting perhaps isn't sometimes or can't be sometimes. So I'm just sitting with that. That was a wonderful last class. It's now about 1.20, so I am hungry because all I have was like a little bit of pasta and I'm not gonna lie, I, I have a bad craving right now. You know what I wanna eat? <laughs> right now, I wanna eat Oreos. <laughs> So some of y'all are gonna think I'm really gross for this and that's okay. I'm obsessed with mega stuff Oreos. Now, for those of you who like the thin Oreos, you're gonna be like, what, are you out of your mind, Raven? And my response to that is, no, I'm not. I just have taste. <laughs> I just eat the frosting and then I put the cookie back in. And then when I'm really desperate for something sweet, then I'll start eating the cookies. <laughs> I can't be the only person who does this. I was that kid who would eat all the frosting off of a cupcake and all the frosting off of a cake and not actually eat the cupcake or the cake. Can you not put your little tail in my Oreos, bestie? Hi. Obviously having a pet is not the same thing as having a human child. And I get that. I'm never trying to make an equivalence. And I feel like having this little baby has taught me so much patience and love and compassion. He's being so cute, look at him. <laughs> Ew, your little breath is so funky. Why are your breath so funky? <laughs> okay, at the very appropriate hour of 1.30, let's wash up for the day. I love um, this part of the day where I have to Look at my acne, look at my acne. I don't know, I feel like maybe it's getting a little better though. Yeah, not really. Um, it's okay, we're not gonna think about it. Let's just wash our face. It's so interesting, because I feel like when the panorama first started and everyone had to switch to virtual classes, there was so much anxiety and apprehension and tension around it. But now, I find myself actually preferring virtual class a lot of the time. And that's not to say there aren't valuable aspects to learning in person, of course, but my entire independent study this quarter was virtual. And that was so nice because I only had to be on campus Monday through Wednesday and not having to commute all the time does wonders for my well-being. I can use that time that I would have spent commuting to like do the things that I do in the morning to care for myself, you know? Part of the big push to get everyone to return in person. Partially, I think it's motivated by like, oh, we miss each other and we wanna be in person, that part, completely valid, I'm on board with that. 
But I think another huge part of it is, is like if suddenly everyone was working from home and we didn't need to have a space for employees in these big buildings and the people who own those buildings, who rent out those buildings, etc., wouldn't be making bank anymore. And I feel like we would see some big issues in the real estate sector and a decline in profitability. It's more profitable to have us inhabit space together. Why am I, <laughs> y'all, I literally it's supposed to be like a fun grad student day in my life video. And I've just been like going on an intellectual bender this whole time. Okay, we're feeling cute. We're feeling, we're feeling funky fresh. I've been trying not to wear makeup too often because obviously it like exacerbates the, the acne problem. Okay, one thing I will say though, because, oh, Kenji, you're right in front of my camera and my mirror, honey. He just has to be in the mix at all times, I swear. I guess that's sweet though. It's better than having a cat who doesn't want anything to do with you, right? Kenji move. <laughs> so goofy. He's such a little diva, but I love that about him. I wonder what the world would look and feel like without makeup. Like what if we all just had to show up in the world in whatever way we look like when we roll out of the bed in the morning? I feel like that could alleviate so much pressure. And I know that not all people use makeup to cover things up, but we would all be lying if we said that makeup wasn't a part of like a social schema of how we're expected to show up and perform. Cause it is. Even as I'm performing it myself, I'm, I'm aware of that and seeking and desiring to disrupt that. And sometimes I do, and sometimes I don't because I'm a human being, you know? I mean, look at that makeup, dude. I got a little carried away. <laughs> it is now 6.30 and where did the day go? I, I don't know. I just spent the last couple hours making TikToks. Here, hi, do you want a hug? Oh, he said yes. Okay, come here. So I, I don't really have many groceries in the house right now. There's no good reason for this. I just haven't had time to go to the grocery store. So I just ordered some food. There's this really yummy Ethiopian place that makes like super good food. So I ordered from them because it's a sure thing. I'm not, I'm not looking to experiment tonight. Some nights you have the bandwidth to experiment and like if it doesn't hit, then it's okay. The, the way I'm hungry right now, if food came to my door that didn't slap, words would be had. <laughs> My food's on the way. My food's on the way. It's, it's on the way. The food is here. Time to eat, baby. I'm ready to grub. Whew. So I... I just broke my bowl. I broke a bowl. This is my first thing that I've broken. All right, let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> And I ordered two portions so I can have one for lunch tomorrow. But we have the injera, which is the bread on top, and then lots of good stuff inside. Wow. Wow, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. I'm so excited. Look at this little baby. You slow blinking at me. You slow blinking at me. I love you. Oh, I love you. Now, I know what you're wondering. Raven, why are you drinking coffee at 8 p.m.? The answer is, I still have a lot of shit to do. <laughs> I need to do some schoolwork. I have some paper stuff that I need to start working on and writing. I just got a notification that I have therapy tomorrow. Yeah. 